Turn the flywheel to bring the carrier completely towards the operator. Turn the feed knob to bring the spike tray to the right side. Lift the spiked meat holder by pressing the lever located under the rear handle. Place the helm on the carrier and secure it firmly by lowering the spiked meat holder. The product must protrude 4 cm over the plate, also ensuring that it's parallel, parallel to the plate. Loosen the knob of the plate protection cover, then move it to the left side and insert it into the other provided space. Screw the knob back in. Do this carefully as the plate is now uncovered. Use again the feed knob to move the hem towards the plate. Adjust the thickness of the slices using the thickness regulator. Each space corresponds to an increase of 0.3 mm in thickness. We suggest to set it to number 2 or 3. At this point you can proceed with the actual slicing by turning the flywheel clockwise strongly and regularly. Open the compartment that contains the collection tray located under the plate and clean it properly. Then close the compartment. Remove the steel side tray by pulling it towards the flywheel to unlock it. Loosen the screw of the spike tray located between the two columns. Lift the spike tray to remove it. For the cleaning, use soft cotton cloth and rubbing alcohol. The dismantled machine allows easy access to all surfaces. Wipe with the wet cloth with alcohol, taking special care when wiping over the press decorations. We strongly advise against the use of abrasive products. Run the flywheel to move the carrier first forward and then backward to easily access the front and rear surfaces of the cast iron base. Never use water for the cleaning. Run the flywheel continuously for internal and external cleaning of the plate after covering the plate with the plate protection cover. Place the soft cotton cloth in the center of the plate, press lightly and slide towards the outer edge of the plate. The sharpening stones are located above the plate and contain two printers, one for wetting, the other one for finishing. Loosen the screw located on the side, lift and turn the cover 180 degrees. Lower it and lock it again. The right button, or better the left one from the operator's perspective, is used for sharpening, the other one for finishing. Run the flywheel clockwise and consistently by pressing the right button for about 30 seconds without stopping, then release. For the finishing, rotate the flywheel by pressing both buttons for about 4 seconds without stopping, then release. The small compartment that is located on the right of the cast iron base contains the necessary utensils for the lubrication. A vial of Vaseline oil, a rigid pipette and a steel stick. Remove the cap of the oil vial and replace it with the rigid pipette. Then take off its cap on the tip. At this point you can proceed with the lubrication.
The meat slicer has six lubrication points. The first point is between the flywheel and the cast iron base. The second on the left of the carrier. Run the flywheel for a few seconds to distribute the oil better. Three more lubrication points are closed by small metal spheres that can be pushed in slightly. They are located in the rear part of the crankcase. Use the steel stick to gently lower the spheres to facilitate the oil inlet. The last lubrication point is located between the two mechanical arms located below the carrier. At the end of the lubrication, turn the flywheel again for a few seconds in order to distribute the oil better in the rear of the machine. You can now refit all previously removed parts, the side tray where the slices arrive, the collection tray and the spike tray. Carefully tightening the screw to secure it. At this point the Imperial I-33 is ready for use again. Lower the meat holder. Place the spike tray close to the plate. Put the carrier in fully retracted position. Set the thickness regulator to number 3. Following these steps you can now protect the slicer with the tailor-made protective cover. Place the cover so that the flywheel remains outside. Then adjust it to best follow the machine profiles.